Now let's talk about your Rockets coverage because it's been kind of cool to watch them improve since last season. And for that reason, when you take a look back and you see the record, what comes to mind as to what's adding to their success for their 500 record right now? Great question. Um, when you look at the fact that there were 22 wins last year um, and that they were able to improve and knock on the door of the play in tournament, like all of the players and coaches will tell you it was, they don't feel like it was mission accomplished because, you know, the Rockets didn't make the playoffs. But what I think really added to their success was a complete and total 180 in culture. And you've covered sports for a while. So, you know, NFL, MLB, college, it doesn't matter. When there is a head coaching change, there is often a fairly big culture shift. They bring in their own guys. They come in with their own, you know, mindset and ideas and goals. And when the Rockets hired Ime Udoka, he, Jess, it was like immediate, like 180. And uh, he brought in an unbelievable coaching staff. And he told me in one of the interviews we did, and I don't remember, remember which one, but he told me that he prioritized hiring coaches and player development staff that had played and Mm -hmm. that knew and understand that relationships are everything. And you can see it, you know, so the lead assistant, Ben Sullivan, when I asked him, you know, he has a shooting specialty. He learned under Chip England, all all the good things. And he's, he's known for that. When I asked him, well, where do you start with a guy when you're helping him improve his shooting? Do you start with mechanics? Do you start with statistics? And Ben was like, I start with the relationship. And so Ime brought in just a great coaching staff, really young, uh, really energetic player development guys, again, young, energetic, that are just really hungry to win. And so um, in addition to that, you know, everything that you, that, you know, you hear about Ime as far as him being willing to be serious and disciplined guys was true. And so he just brought in a really great group of people and the players obviously deserve credit. The veterans, um, the second thing I'll say in addition to Ime and his staff, the veterans, Fred Van Bleet, Jeff Green, Dylan Brooks, um, were huge for the young guys. And they were vocal not only on the court but off the court and helping guys navigate the NBA. So I think it was – I think the you know jump in wins and the improvement was – Ime and who he brought in and then just really great veterans with a lot of pedigree and the young guys really respect them. 